In a flurry of activity before returning to their districts for the summer, House Republicans worked with the governor to pass into law several important bills. First and foremost was the 2011-2012 state budget, delivered as promised, on time, with no new or increased taxes and a billion dollars less spending than the previous year. It's the first time this job has been done in eight years, and that's why we're happy. But we know that the people of Pennsylvania expect this kind of governance every year, and it's something that we're committed to doing into the future. Four percent less. I think it's only the third time in 40 years that we have actually spent less. It's an incredible achievement, particularly if you look back over the course of the last eight years. At the same time the rate of inflation was growing at 21 percent, we spent, we increased spending by 37 percent. Also, House Republicans were successful in their years-long fight to enhance the so-called Castle Doctrine, allowing for a law-abiding citizen to defend life and property. Now, citizens who believe their lives or the lives of their loved ones are threatened can defend themselves wherever they happen to be, whether in their homes, their cars, or out in public, without having to look first to retreat. Finally, the governor and House Republicans worked together to take a common sense first step in changing a legal system that unfairly punishes job creators in the state. Called the Fair Share Act, the new law says that a business or individual that is party to a lawsuit only has to pay for that share of the damage or injury for which they are responsible. Before the law was changed, a business that was found to be only 10% responsible in a lawsuit could, under certain circumstances, be forced to pay 100% of the damages. This is a great day. It'll mean if you're a defendant in a lawsuit, you will be treated fairly. Whether you're an individual, whether you're a small business owner, or whether you are a major employer in our state, no longer, if you're dragged into a lawsuit, will you have to worry about unfair treatment and being nailed just because you might have a few dollars in your pocket. After working in their districts through July and August, lawmakers will return to the Capitol in the fall to address more priorities, including welfare reform and privatizing the state's retail liquor sales.